First at five, within the past 90 minutes, the Clark County Superintendent Jesus Jara ordered a complete review of CCSD police and its use of force policy. His order follows our report on Friday showing a disturbing incident involving students and police just outside Durango High School. Fox Size Joe VL has been tracking this story. Joe, how is CCSD responding tonight? Yeah, well, CCSD Superintendent Jesus Jara put out a statement just a little while ago, and let's get right to it. He says, in light of the recent incident, near one of our schools I have spoken with and am directing Clark County School District Chief of Police Mike Blackeye to conduct a complete review of the department's use of force policy and protocols. The relationship between our police officers and students must be one of mutual respect for the inherent dignity of every person and respect for the laws and policies that govern all of us. Because of our actions, the children of our community and their families must believe that they will be respected treated with dignity and safe while at our schools or interacting with our employees. Anything less is simply unacceptable. Now here's a look at that video once again last week at Durango High School, a CCSD officer slamming a student to the ground right there. CCSD police said on Friday the incident stemmed from an investigation regarding a report of a firearm near one of our schools and this incident was being investigated. Now one student who was cuffed told me an officer said he was jaywalking. Another told me he was about to record the incident on his cell phone when a CCSD officer approached him and placed him in cuffs. I am told both of those students I talked to were released without any charges. Now, I have made several attempts to get you answers from CCSD police about this. I left a couple of voicemails today and text messages. I called 15 minutes ago. I left another message for a lieutenant, a spokesperson, but no one has called back. Now, one of the questions I asked 15 minutes ago was, what is the status of the police officers? Are they working? Are they on leave while there's an investigation? We just don't know. I also asked for an interview with the chief. We're hoping to hear from him, but so far we have not. We'll keep you updated. Back to you.